Yeah, pleasant good afternoon. Yeah, just making this little video for all the people that was inboxing me and asking little questions that I put it into how I train any pop. I try to make the video fast, so I'll be speaking a little fast. So bear with me. You want to start off the pop them? You could start off your pop whatever age you want. Alright? Some people start them off at a month old, some people two months. It was when you feel comfortable starting off your pop. I start them off at any time and I feel like it, I start them off. It doesn't matter to me. Alright? First thing first, I, I go I go for, for proven hunting abilities. Like when I when I buying dogs, when I'm breeding dogs, parents hunting, grandparents was good hunters, them kind of thing. Then I look at the breed, what it was bred to do. If it was bred to back pen, if it was bred to, to just track animal and run holy like a donkey and and you catch nothing. If it's a gun dog, if it's pushing animal on, on the gun man, and I really care about barking pen, yeah, I look at the, all them things when I choose a pup, right? Yeah, like, that just to get to clear the air on that. So if you're looking for a pup to back hole, if you're looking for it, you, you look for the breed that does do that, you do your research, you find out, and you buy accordingly. Right? I just start up the pup them with an animal that will will heighten the prey drive then. The, what is a prey drive? Some may not know. That is the the puppy, the instinct in the puppy to chase after prey, right? The ability and the instinct to chase, chase after prey. Not all dogs have high prey drive. Not all pups will have high prey drive. Some of them will mature and then they will get a prey drive. Some of them will have it from young. To chase after a fleeing animal. That is our prey drive. To chase after a fleeing animal, right? So. You look for a puppy thing, you make sure the puppy have a, a prey drive, willing to chase after animal. You look for an animal that's always willing to flee and not willing to fight. Flee and surrender. So that's where I choose the rabbit. I use the rabbit as my first um, training animal. Because the rabbit always want to flee. The more wild the rabbit is, the better. The rabbit always want to flee. And you don't ever throw the, the animal on the, on the puppy or the dog, or as the case may be, they, they don't train dogs, so you let them see it running, and that that will kick in in the head. That prey drive, all dogs have that prey drive. None, it might be high in every dog, but all of them have that prey drive that drive to chase after prey. They have it. So you want to show the puppy the rabbit, but she will see the rabbit running. You, the first thing is to follow the rabbit to play with it, and that is very good. Let them let them do that. And eventually, you rather do it every single day. You do it ever so often, and eventually you'll see the level of aggression, which uh, the aggression which the puppy showing towards you have a change. And you'll start biting you have it by the belly, you'll start biting him by the neck. Then you know, alright, he he getting serious. So you could progress him with a different animal, right? You could use a cage to keep him safe from things like this that will bite him. This is actually living and willing to bite, you see? Right. Things like this that will bite him, you could keep it in a cage to keep him safe. Because sometimes they might get bite and they might get a little more aggressive or they might get bite and it might break them down completely. You never let them get bite too early. And it's not a bad thing for them to get bite. But never let them get bite too early or too young. Right? From the rabbit, I just progress to this. Or a maniku. I use it in a cage first. And then I put it in the, in the open for them. When they're old enough and I feel like they can take a bite and I can respond accordingly. I put it in the open, let them deal with that situation for themselves and maneuver. So once they realize it biting, once they realize it biting, they will um they will know how to attack it. Right? Then whatsoever other animal, once they, once they start attacking these the way that you want them to, you can progress them on whatsoever animal that you want. If it's bit man, um, tattoo, lap, gooty, whatsoever, right? And well, the whole training from the first day, I just start putting it once they're chasing after the animal to even to play with it. I start putting it in a hole so to get them acquainted with the hole and that whole that whole vibes. So that's basically it. Somebody trying to call me, so I need to go now.